bring greetings to you, precious saint, from the presence of our Heavenly Father. I want to share with you to this afternoon on how to release the power of the Holy Spirit from inside you to circumstances, to events, to situations, and even to people around you. You know, we are in the last days, and the Bible has prophesied that the occultic world, the demonic world, will be advanced in their practices to the extent that the Antichrist will be burned. So also, we, the sons of the children of God, needs to be advanced in our dealings, and how we can release the power of God. In John chapter number 1 verse 1, the Bible says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was an ending made that was made. In verse number 12, the Bible says that, But as many as received Him, that's the Word of God, to them He gave the power to become the sons of God. So, power of God can only come to those who have received the word of God. If you want to receive the power of God, you can only receive the power of God by receiving the word of God. So what does the word of God mean? The Greek word for the word of God in that context is for is called logos. And logos really literally means the content, the intent of what God is saying. For example, if I say bread, the word bread, the word bread will bring communicate to you that I'm talking about mixing flour, butter, sugar, and yeast, and sometimes adding milk and baking it inside an oven and placing it inside a lion. That is what you would think when I say bread. So also the word that God speaks to you, you've got to get the content, the intent of what God is saying before power can be released inside you. In John chapter number 14. Verse number 10, the Lord Jesus Christ revealed that there is the power of God inside him and the only way he can release this power is by speaking the word. Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does the work. Jesus Christ says the Father dwells in him, the power of God dwells in him. But the words that I speak to you, I speak to you, then the Father in me does the work. So if you want to release the power of God from inside you, the circumstances, the situation, to events and to people, you've got to speak the word of God. So you see two things, you receive the power of God by receiving the word of God. You release the power of God by speaking the word of God. I'm going to pray for you. I pray in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus that the boldness of God's Spirit will come upon you, that the Word of God will come to you expressly, that you'll be able to understand what God is saying, the content and the intent and the means of what God has in His heart. And as you receive it, you begin to grow in power, and that you release this power to the words of God in your mouth with all boldness in the name of Jesus Christ. I believe you've been blessed and I want to invite you to listen to and to watch these videos. I'll be releasing videos often, frequently and I pray that you're going to be blessed as you listen to this video. Share this video and also you can click like or subscribe on the, to this YouTube channel. God bless you. My name is Caleb Zoe, also known as Caleb Agbedei.